Hi, yeah. welcome to the first video in the differentiation topic at Hire. Uh, today we're just going to look at a quick introduction to differentiation and uh, what it means and how we're going to do it. So here's your learning intention and success criteria for this video. Okay, so we'll be able to simply differentiate in terms of the form x to the power n. Uh, the two things essentially we want to be able to do is understand the link between differentiation and gradient and then be able to use a quick method to differentiate in terms of the form x to the power n uh, and that involves multiplying by the power and decreasing the power by one as you will see. Okay, so here we've got uh, the background to where differentiation come from, came from. Uh, you guys have already met straight line and finding the gradient of a straight line using the a formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, what a, a couple of uh, mathematicians did in the, well, I don't know when to be honest, uh, was try and get an estimation for the gradient of a tangent to a curve. Okay, so you can see here the tangent to the curve, the gradient would change as you move along. Okay, and what uh, a couple of people did, a couple of different uh, mathematicians, was they wanted to get an estimation for that gradient. And how they did that was they picked two points and got a rough estimation of what the gradient would be between those two points. Okay, but that's all it was, it was an estimation. And what they said was actually, the smaller you made that gap between the two points, the better the estimation you would have. Okay, so what they did was they created a formula for this gradient, uh, just using our gradient formula, is if they did the f of the x plus h, the y coordinate of the second point there, take away f of x, divided by x plus h, the x coordinate of the second quadrant, take away x, the first one. Uh, the x would cancel, and that gave them a formula to find the gradient. Now, I'm not going to take you through the whole proof, but essentially what they found was something brilliant. Okay, using a couple of more complicated mathematics techniques, uh, including limits, as they made that h closer and closer to zero, they found that if you started off with a curve uh, x squared, for instance, Okay, and that's bad notation, I went to do f of x there. Uh, when you got a formula for the gradient, it became 2x. Okay, now I'm just going to change this, sorry, I'm not going to call it y, I'm going to call it f of x, which is better. They got a formula for the gradient that was 2x. And then if they changed the function to x cubed, what happened was the, the formula for this gradient became 3x squared. Okay, and what they found is that actually to find a formula for the gradient, all they needed to do is bring the power down to the front and multiply and decrease that power by one. So this two multiplies at the front and the power became one. With this one here, the power three came down and multiplied at the front and then your power became two. Okay, and that was a, a formula for finding the gradient of a curve and they called it, a, oh, it is a differentiated form. Okay, and there's a couple of different things they can uh, this way can be examined and this way can be asked. Uh, it can be called the derived function, it can be called the derivative, uh, it can be called differentiation, and the places it likes to hide, the biggest kind of two things that it likes to be asked is uh, in the gradient of the tangent and in something called the rate of change, which is very closely linked to the gradient. Uh, the gradient of a curve is how steep it is, how fast it's changing, so the rate of change would also be something that's linked to the the derivative or the differential. Okay, this is the proper way of writing it. Like if you start off with x to the power n, then you bring the power down to the front and you decrease it by one. In reality, what we're doing is we're multiplying by the power then subtracting one from the power. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through six quick examples. This will be a note, this page here, so you want to pause it and, and copy that down. I'll take you through six quick examples of how you calculate a differential for specific cases and then that will kind of give us a bit of background uh, and let us start off the differentiation topic. Okay, so firstly, we've got f of x is equal to x to the power 9. Okay, if I want to calculate uh, the differential or the derivative, I denote it first of all by doing f dash x. Okay, it is a gradient that we're finding ultimately, but we denote the differential by f dash x. And with this one here, we'll get x to the power 9. The 9 is going to come down to the front. It's going to be x, and then you decrease the power by 1, so it's 9x to the power 8. Okay, here f of x is equal to x to the power negative 3, f dash x. 
is going to be negative three x to the power negative four. Okay, so negative three decreases by one will become negative four. Okay, the first time you do this in class, half years will make that negative two because they want to make the number smaller in size. Okay, just be careful to make sure it gets drops by one so it goes down from negative three to negative four, not negative two. Okay, two more examples here. X to the power three halves, starting to bring fractional powers into it. Okay, so F dash X there. Bringing the three halves down in front, multiplying by three halves. X, and when you decrease that power, I'm just going to do a little bit of work at the bottom here. Okay, when you decrease that power there, okay, you're doing three halves take away a whole, which means you're taking away two halves. Okay, so three halves take away two halves is one half. Okay, so it's going to be to the power one half. Okay, this one here, x to the power minus two thirds, which means f dash x is going to be minus two thirds x. And then when you decrease that by a whole, by one, is going minus two thirds, you're taking away another three thirds because you're taking away a whole. So that'll go down to minus five over three. Okay, and that's your differential there. Okay, so same rule all the time. Power comes down and you decrease your power by one. Okay, and lastly, these are the two situations where something strange happens and you'll get very, well, not strange, just something happens that you maybe have to think about a little bit more, but you'll very quickly get used to differentiating these very quickly indeed. Okay, so this one here, when you've got x, your power is one. So this is going to be one times x to the power of zero. Okay, and anything to the power of zero is just one, so this is just one times one, which is one. Okay, so when you differentiate an x, it just becomes one. Okay, so when you're differentiating something with x, essentially the x is just disappearing, that just goes. Okay, this one here, f of x equals one. A little bit of a problem because right now we don't have any x's to the power. Okay, but similarly to x of zero, x to the power of zero just becoming a one. This can just be an x to the power of zero. Okay, and then when that zero comes down, when you're differentiating, it just is going to multiply by everything and make it zero. Okay, so when you have f of x equal to one or really any number, that just number will just disappear. Okay, so that's just two very, very common cases that you'll get very quickly used to doing. Okay, if you've got an x, it just disappears. If you've got a number, that just disappears as well. Okay, now going back to what we wanted to be able to take out of this video. Firstly, being able to understand the link between differentiation and gradient. Okay, you'll do a lot more work of that very soon. Uh, we'll do a bit of the first couple of videos will just be on the processes of differentiation. But just what we looked at there in terms of the link between differentiation and gradient, just appreciate that that's something we'll need to understand. Okay, and secondly, using the quick method to differentiate. Okay, so when you've got x to the power n, bringing the power down and decreasing it by one. Okay, thanks for your time, cheers.